Hello to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Sagittarius. Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Happy Sunday. You may be watching this video on Saturday, but we're gearing up for this full moon. We have a full moon that will be moving into Cancer. So it's a super sensitive time for everybody as we're gearing up to close out this year. And just so you know, Sagittarius, your six-month prediction is a video is up on Patreon. For those of you all who follow me on Patreon, thank you for supporting me here. Thank you for supporting me there. I think you all are going to really like it. I'm walking you through every phase of the cycles for 2024 from January to June 2024. So if you're over there, check it out. Don't forget to check it out. Let's get into it, Sagittarius. The energy has already been cleared. And uh, let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see what your cards have to say. Let us see what your cards have to say. All right. All right, all right, all right. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. You know by now, Sagittarius, you all are ruled by Jupiter, the planet of good luck, good fortune, hubris, horizon. So you really want to start thinking about what's on the horizon for you. What does that look like? What is being on the horizon for you look like? So, um... We're moving into, um, we're moving from the moon in Taurus into Gemini's. So let's get right into it. Gemini's most likable trait is their responsiveness. So I don't think, you know, when you think about being reactive and proactive, you're not, you're learning how to not just react to something good or just react in a bad, negative or positive way is I need to respond. So that takes some being in that feminine energy for a minute, processing those emotions. If you hit the lottery, your immediate reaction may be, oh my God, I got to go tell everybody. But then you say, oh, skirt, let's pump the brakes. If I start telling everybody, I'm making myself a target. So let me stop for a minute and think, okay, hold on. If I hit the lottery, okay, that's great news, right? Or if I get a, an increase in my money, that's great news. I react and start telling everybody and make myself a target again. Or do I sit down and say, okay, let me think about this. Let me pull it in, right? And so work on being more responsive than just reactive. And uh, Gemini's ruling planet, uh, Mercury is currently retrograde. There's many different ways to respond. Sometimes no response is the response. Sometimes text message is a response. Sometimes email is a response, whatever. But let's do it. Let's see what the leading card is here. Two of Pentacles. This is about time, time being your money. So source is saying, I'm trying to add an additional stream of income to you. So time is money. Are you allowed, are you carrying, are you, do I have a, do you have a second job in carrying other people's mismanagement of their time in your universe? So therefore you're not getting paid for you investing in other people's time. Or are you saying, um, yeah, you know what? I need to start offloading some energies in my life who don't know what their purpose is. Their energy is a waste of my time. I try to invest. And this is not like this, you know, like the first time you have a conversation. This is like through kind of a history, a pattern of behavior. I noticed that some people don't have a problem. They don't value other people's time. So therefore I need to release all of that. So I see an additional stream of income coming your way. Here we also have the magician card, which is attached to Mercury. Mercury is, like I said, your memory versus other people's memory. And, and this is, again, if I hit the lottery and great things happen, do I react and put myself back in that victim mode where people, oh, my God, they took advantage of me. I gave them money and they didn't even say thank you. And if, when I needed some help, are you putting yourself back in that because you're letting people abuse your time now? So when the good things come... You, you reacting again. So, so it's saying learn how to respond versus, and is sometimes respond. You're learning right now and how people may have responded to you and whether they felt like you wasted their time or you are an investment, you know, in their time. And it's a, it, it can be an exchange of that. So we also have, like I said, the magician card. We also have the three of cups. We also have the nine of swords. Here we have the ace of cups and also the 10 of swords, right? So <clears throat> three of cups, I see somebody saying, I need to be grateful that the past is behind me. I need to do a better job at protecting my, my emotions so I don't end back up here in a nightmare situation, scared that I'm going to be alone because some people have cut me off or I had to cut them off. 
I've survived a lot of things, but I don't need to be in survival mode. That'll cause a very evil person, always in survival mode. Killed or be killed. I got to survive before somebody take advantage of me. No, I've survived. So now I'm thinking about thriving. I don't need to react to everything. I need to learn how to respond, means I need to take it in and see if, if I'm, because remember, there's two sides of that sword. Did I call somebody a nightmare with my sarcasm or, you know, me thinking and I'm joking and somebody was already hurt by something else or uh, did I, whatever it is, I need to be grateful that that past me is behind of being in survival mode. I'm in thrive mode. So like I said, this is good, getting everybody geared up. I'm telling you that six month prediction video is really, really good for you all. And just how 2024 is going to be an amazing year for everybody um, who is ready to be in receiving mode, like being in receiving mode of the things that you pray for. 2023 has been a year of lightning bolt insight. So a lot of awakenings have happened in 2023. Who, what, what part, what role people play in your life? And if you've been carrying, since this is a leading card right here, two of pentacles, have you been carrying other people's? mismanage of their time mismanagement of their time and have other people saw you as i've been carrying sagittarius mismanage of their time because there's always two sides to it right so if other people have been saying you know what this is a mismanagement of my time like sagittarius is still carrying a whole bunch of stuff from family stuff and i'm it's weighing me down so do people look at it as like when your name pop up on their phone, oh gosh, they just still talking about the same family stuff. Then I think about getting help for it and this, that, and the other. And then are you starting to look at it as like, wow, people don't know what their purpose is. I keep trying to help people into their light and they don't want to see it. So then they just going to have to find out the hard way. So there's always two sides to everything. And this, this um, Mercury being retrograde is exposing a lot. Plus, your, your ruling planet Jupiter is also retrograde. Slow down and start focusing on what you're grateful for. So a source is saying, leave the past behind. You survived a lot of things in your past from your childhood. You know, what's interesting, like I mentioned on, we're going to have a lot of, um, we're going to have a lot of eclipses next year, right? And I'm telling you, ne oh my gosh, like I said, go watch the video. Go watch the video because... I'm not trying to inundate anybody. We want to stay focused right here. We have the Ace of Swords and also the Ten of Swords. Like I said, you survived a lot of things in your personal and your professional life. You're still standing. You could be somewhere crazed out of your mind or depressed or, you know, you're hurting every, everybody else because you've been hurt. And so as I said, guess what? You survived a lot. Now it's time for you to thrive, right? Kindness begets kindness. Hurt begets hurt. So which side you going to land on? Here we also have the Ace of Swords. So a breakdown... A breakdown, a breakthrough feels like a breakdown, like a breakdown in understanding and memory and communication, their thoughts versus mine and blah, blah, all of that other stuff. And so you're saying, but if you keep replaying the past over and over and over again, then guess what? You're going to keep remembering the hurt and the pain. So it's just like, it's okay to remember it, but it's also okay to forgive yourself for staying stuck, you know, in that, right? So here we have the ace and the, and the five of swords. So it's the same six of swords. You're going through a rite of passage. When you're at a point where it's a pivotal point and keep replaying the past over and over and over again as it relates to what somebody did to you or what you did to them or their memory versus your memory source, it, it's a choice right then and there. There could be an... Um, you could be overwhelmed with some memories by an air sign. That's Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But source is saying to you, it's a choice to move on from the past or you can keep replaying the past and hanging around other energies that keep talking to you and keep like i said before somebody feels like some some energies are holding on to a bunch of secrets sources saying hey look if your thoughts automatically get to a low frequency when you think about people it's time to go ahead and cut it off if it's that triggering it's time for you to go ahead and cut it off and move on here we are the two of pentacles coming out again so it's just saying, are you holding on to other people's thoughts about people? Or are you saying, okay, am I, am I, this is interesting because your immutable sign and your most likable trait is your optimism, right? And so this is really asking source, what was the lesson I was supposed to learn? Because sources that want to allow things to happen. What was the lesson that I was supposed to learn? This is not religion. This is you 
having source inside of you as it's not a resource, it's source. You're going right to the source. Why did these things happen? What was I supposed to learn? What was this meant to teach me so I can remain optimistic, so I can be that archer that's shooting, aiming for the stars, dreaming bigger and great things happening to me? Why does certain things bother me more so than others? Help me in my memory of my own childhood of where all of this started from. It may lead some people back to their family relationships and their birthdays. It may lead you to go look back at high school yearbooks to see if there was people's zodiac signs there. It may lead you to a pattern where you start to say, wait a minute, let me look at my own birth chart and let me get better acquainted with the air in my own birth chart because air, the element of air starts with the higher frequencies. So when you think about, I mean, the higher chakras, right? And so... This is where you're saying, I'm motivating myself to see other people's definition of love, humility, trust, commonality with the human race, right? I'm trying to see other people's point of view. I can adapt. I can see other people's point of view, right? So as this moon moves through zodiac signs and you starting to say, okay, since it's moving through Gemini, I don't have to be, I don't have to be reactive. I can respond to, okay, let me take everything case by case basis. It definitely is work. It's work. It's not something where I'm lumping everybody in the same category and I can't stand all of, I can't stand air signs, for instance, since there's so much air out here. Somebody is definitely in their their mind about some things. And so I see you still standing from a lot of past hurt and a lot of past pain. But also this air elements also connects you to your loved ones, right? Letting energies get to your heart. Here's the King of Pentacles. This card right here is coming out in a lot of people's readings. And this is really about are you going to be cutting your own money I mean, significantly because you, you stuck in your mind about a specific zodiac signs. It, it, I mean, it's up to you. When you have a lot of access to a lot of wealth and knowledge, here we have the king of swords. This right here, when you're talking about king, queen energy, if you can't help lift somebody up with your words and your actions and you, you're tearing them down, that will instantly tear right into your money. Instantly. And you can, you can make up excuses about what well, other people felt like this. And I had my own experience and they do have a point and all this other stuff. You are kept right into your own money. So source is saying four and seven is 11. Step through your, um, step through those pillars to number 11. This is a sign right here. How are you valuing your time? You have access to just as much money and cash flow or whatever the currency is, no matter what country you're in, no matter what continent you're on, as everybody else on this planet. How are you investing your time? Because if you're engaging in conversations, and this is what I'm saying here, is there's nobody richer on one plant person richer than other. We're not talking about just bank accounts. This is bank account money too. But sources saying that's why there's that's why there's so much passion when I'm reading these cards, especially towards the end of the year, because a lot of people are not going to get it until all of a sudden you decide you you made a choice to land on the dark side of, of energy that's tearing into your money because of their belief system, because their beliefs. So here we have two and nine is 11. Again, there's that number 11. Step through those pillars. Change your way of thinking. There's a number two again, two, four, six. So it's just saying, look, now we now we use this harvest time for you, at least six streams of income. So when you're saying, I don't like this person, I don't like that person, okay, it's time for you to say, okay, I need to set some, I need to set some boundaries here. That's what source is trying to tell somebody. Set some boundaries, enforce those boundaries because it's inevitable that you're gonna get to King of Pentacles. But how are you gonna get to King of Pentacles? How are you going to get to King of Pentacles? If you got a bunch of negative talking and negative minded energies around you, that may be their reality, but you can also change yours. That number 10 is the number for instant manifestation. Every time somebody was committed to talk about how many people hurt them, and but won't take that sword out and cut those people off. Guess what? You were adding to your own pain and despair, but look, when people decide to cut you off and you're like, okay, gosh, what in the world? Why do they keep cutting me off? Because you're still connected to negative-minded people, negative-talking people. I only want to be contaminated with all of that. I got purpose. And that's what Source is trying to tell somebody is like, step through those pillars. Step through those pillars. 
you're going through a rite of passage right now. It's going to have some change. Some way you talking and thinking is going to have to change. That's what's going to make somebody very, very wealthy. Not the sarcasm, all that other stuff. I told you so. All of that. Sources saying move on from all of that. It's going to be a lot. I'm telling you, if, if people don't see what's happening on social media right now, I'm like, man, like the people even see what's happening. So anyway, yep. Anyway, 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 let's close it out again. Happy Sunday. I'll make sure I have your um, motivational Monday. Um, you get, get you prepared for the motivational Monday reading. Here we have three, three, three. Yep. You're powerful. You're very powerful. This is what Source is saying. You can change the mind of every single person around you right now, today. When you watch this video, Sagittarius, and tell people, to, if you don't have anything positive to say about people, I don't care what, what I engaged in. I don't care if I agree with you in the past. I'm changing my way of thinking. I'm changing my way of talking about people. You can say whatever you want to say. And if that means that you're going to cut me off because you think, okay, I changed on a dime and I, I changed my way of thinking. It's a, I, I'm, I'm tired of the negativity. 333, three, three, I am powerful. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts, Sagittarius, as a light worker assisting, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. I couldn't have said it any better. I'm serious. Because that's what the call is. People keep thinking it's one side against the other. It's light versus dark. That's it. Do you choose the light and you're helping to help other people raise their frequency? Or are you choosing darkness by engaging in negativity? That's really what it boils down to. That's what it boils down to. And some people are going to have to find out the hard way. Some people don't have to get their egos out of the way and find and find out the hard way. I don't care how much money you have. It doesn't even really matter. That could be here today and gone tomorrow. All it takes is being disobedient to source. Now all of a sudden you, you get you all of this this today and the next day is oh my God, I'm losing everything. So here we have energy. There it is. Where are you putting that energy? Affirmations for energy. I am full of creative ideas. I am alive and well. I am bold. I am healthy and I'm happy. I nourish my body with healthy foods. I hydrate my body with adequate water. My purpose is here and now. Today I am blessed with an abundance of energy. Where are you putting it? I'm telling you, that's that card that kicked it off is source of saying somebody is holding other people's there's other energies that you're holding their negative belief systems about stuff. I don't get along with this sign. I don't get along with that sign. I don't like this group of people. I don't like that group of people. So it's just saying, okay, those will be the same energies when your money is cut significantly that you'll go back to them and ask them for some help. They, they still got that negative way of thinking and talking. So you can go ahead and cut your losses right now. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Here are your questions for... The moon in Gemini. The questions for the moon in Gemini. Like I said, Gemini's most um their their most likable trait is their responsiveness, right? So first question is, do you feel there's an area of your life in need of radical change, like your work, your relationships, your well-being, your home life? And the second question is, what's getting in the way of you changing your story? Third question is um, how could you inject more childlike curiosity into your life? And then last but not least, Sagittarius is who are the five people? That can mean like five books. It could be five podcasts, five. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean physical people, but who are the five people um, you could get in touch with uh, who could help you on your journey? Um, Gemini is a changeable creature. It's a lot of it's a fun loving zodiac sign. I know a lot of people think a lot of things about Gemini. I speak highly of all signs on my channel it was to help you to understand that it was it's, it's too multi-layered to label one sign as such, you know, X, Y, and Z. You just got to know how to create boundaries. And when you get to a point where some certain things are said or done, you need to learn how to pull away. Like you need to catch the message and say, okay, I need to back up or speak up. Not when I have to pull out a blowtorch, but I can say things in a very warm way that's going to, you know, help me to understand their point of view and for people to understand my point of view. That's it. It really is. It really is. You don't. It's, it's how you use your element, right? So I do see somebody tossing some things into a fire pit, just negative thinking, since you're cleansing by fire, recharging, and then boom, you're just making room for an additional streams, uh, additional streams of wealth, wealth of knowledge, 
wisdom, uh, tenacity. That's what you're planting seeds for right now. Not just career success and prosperity. What's the point of being rich if you're negative and you're running around hurting people and abusing power? What's the point uh, when we're all here to help people? So um, a lot of things are being exposed. Hopefully those questions will help you. Like I said before, your six-month prediction video is already up on Patreon. That I have a whole series of retrograde on the second channel called the Knowledge Channel. Go check it out. Knowledge is power. I'll see you on Motivational Monday. Bye.